Example 4.4 or 5.4 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, a piston cylinder device contains 0 0.05 meter cube of gas initially at 200 kilopascals. At this state, a linear spring with a constant of 150 kilonewtons per meter is touching the piston by exerting no force on it. Now heat is transferred into the gas, causing the piston to rise and compress the spring until the volume inside of the cylinder doubles. If the cross-sectional area of the piston is given to be 0.25 meters square, we need to determine the final pressure inside of the cylinder, the total work done by the gas, and determine the fraction of the work done against uh, to the spring by compressing it. Part A is asking us to find the value of the total pressure, of the final pressure. To find that total pressure, we have the initial pressure that we have, which is 200 kilopascals, plus the pressure that is provided against the spring. In order to find that pressure into the spring, we're going to simply find what is the force applied into the spring, which is equal to the amount of force applied by the system. So if you think about it, the force that is applied by the spring to the spring is equal to the force that is applied by the system. So we need to calculate that force. To, apply, to calculate that force, we simply use the constant of the spring times the displacement that it had. In order to find the displacement, we simply take the change of the volume inside of the system. So in the change of the volume is equal to the area that it has times the displacement that it had. Think about it, the displacement that the system had is exactly the same uh, compression distance that the spring will have. The change of the volume is going to be equal to the final volume minus the initial volume. And if we take those two values, that is going to give us 0 0.05 meter cubed. Notice that it said that the volume doubled. So comparing the two, the two values, it gives us this value. Let's now substitute back to get the value of x. We simply get the, the change of the volume divided by the cross-sectional area. So we have 0 0.05 meter cubed and we divide it by the cross-sectional area to be 0.25 meter square we find the displacement of the spring is equal to 0.2 meters once again the same displacement that the spring has is how much the displacement wants inside of the piston system now we calculate the force the force is going to be equal to the constant which is 150 kilonewtons um, per meter times the distance 0.2 meters then we find that the force is equal to 30 kilonewtons we substitute this back into the pressure of the spring and that is going to give us simply 30 kilonewtons divided by 0.25 meters squared, which is the cross-sectional area, and this gives us 120 kilopascals. So once again, this is the pressure done by the spring, and the total pressure, we simply have it as the initial value, which was 200 kilopascals, and now the one that it was applied by the spring, 120 kilopascals, therefore the final pressure is equal to 320 kilopascals. For part B, we need to calculate the total work done by the gas. For that, we're going to create a PV diagram. So we got pressure, which is in kilopascals, and we got volume, which is in meter cubed. The values that we have for the initial volume is 0 0.05, and for the final is going to be 0 0.1. For the initial pressure, we have 200 kilopascals. For the final, we have 320. So this is the first uh, point or the first state, and then we go to the second state over here. Now we simply need to find the area under the curve connecting these two points. So if we draw a straight line between those two points, and then we see that this is the area over here, and now we draw simply the connection between this point and the connection between this point, and we divide this area into two geometries that we could calculate. 
Now we simply see that we have a rectangle at the bottom and a triangle at the top. We're going to call this area 1 and this is going to be area 2. Once we calculate the each one of the areas, we add them and that is going to be the total work. So if we do area 1, since this is a rectangle, it's simply the height times the width. The height is going to be 200 kilopascals and the width is going to be the difference between the two values, which is 0 0.05 meter cubed. The area under the curve is going to be equal to 10. And then this is going to be kilopascal, so that's kilonewtons, divided by meter square, multiplied by meter cubed, cancel and cancel, kilonewtons times uh, meter becomes kilojoules. So that is the unit of work. For the area two, it is a triangle, so it's half the height uh, times the width. The height is the difference between 320 and 200, which is 120 kilopascals. And the width, once again, is the difference between 0.1 and 0 0.05, which is 0 0.05 meter cubed. We calculate this. This is going to give us 3 kilojoules. Therefore, the total work that is done on the on this system is going to be equal to 13 kilojoules. Notice that we have two areas underneath the curve. The first area is the work against the piston and the atmosphere. Area two is the one against the spring. So for part C, we needed to determine the fraction of the work that is done against the spring, which is equivalent to area two. An alternative way to find that work is simply by calculating the work that could be done by the spring. And that simply could be used by simply using the equation on one half, the constant, and the change of the spring distances. So x2 to the second, x1 to the second. And if we substitute the values, we have one half. This is 150 kilonewtons per meter. And then if we have the final distance, which we had it to be 0.2 meters to the second power, minus the initial uh, position, which was equal to zero, we find that this value is also equal to three kilojoules, which is exactly the area under section two.